Welcome to Friday, everyone. It's been a heavy week this week. And I just want to take a moment to move and breathe together. I'm so grateful for each one of you and for you spending time with me on Friday evening as we move into our weekend. It's just spending a little time here together on the mat. So I'd like you to find a comfortable seated pose wherever you're at. Sit down, ground down into your seat. Take your hands on the front of your knees and take your chin to your chest and simply lean back, press back behind you. And then inhaling, sitting up nice and tall. Begin to pull your shoulders up to your ears. Pulling your shoulders together on your back and then down towards your tail. A couple more times like this. Inhale, rolling the shoulders forward. Inhale, still rolling the shoulders up to your ears. And exhale, pulling your shoulders together and down. Take one more shoulder roll here, rolling those shoulders forward up to the ears and exhaling pull your shoulder blades together and down your back now turning your palms up on your knees for a second and we'll close our eyes here for a moment so allow this moment of meditation to be that little pause to separate from whatever is going on outside in the world, outside the four corners of your mat, and to really start to pay attention to your breath here, your ujjayi breath, and allow yourself this next 60 minutes to enjoy your own company. So with your lips closed lightly together, inhaling in your nose and exhaling out your nose, ocean-like sound as the breath rolls over the vocal cords. And as we're sitting here for a moment, please pay attention to the places that might be holding a little bit more tension than usual. So relaxing through your eyebrows, through your jaw, through your shoulders, through your hips. And just allow the breath to move in and out. Blinking your eyes open. Slide your hands back behind you, placing your palms down, rolling the shoulders onto your back and lifting your chest up towards the ceiling here. And then walking your hands forward, walk, walk, walk. Chin to chest, back of the head and neck, nice and long. And then walking your hands back, sitting up nice and tall. If it's accessible to you, switch out which leg you have in front. And then the same thing here. Place your hands behind you. Palms down, all ten fingers facing forward. Roll the shoulders onto your back and lift your chest up towards the ceiling. And then sitting up, walking your hands forward, walk, 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 
Take your chin to your chest and the back of the head and neck nice and long. From here, pulling forward into your tabletop position and then pressing back into your child pose. Inhale, pull forward back into that tabletop position and start to lean your body over to the right. Right shoulder, right hip out to the right side of your room and sweep back as if in a horseshoe motion. Sweep back and then lean over to the left. We'll do the same thing here a couple of times. Sweeping back your child pose and lean over to your right. Sweeping back through child pose and leaning over to your left. Sweep back to the right. Sweep back to the left. Now we'll sweep back and start to make full circles all the way around. One way, all the way around the opposite way, full circle. Two more sets here, all the way around, one way. And then the opposite way. And one more set. Sweep all the way around. And all the way around the opposite way. And placing ourselves back into the child pose. Making fists with your hands, circle the fists around one way. And circle the fists around the opposite way. And spreading your fingers out nice and wide. Inhale, sliding forward into your cow pose. And exhale, tucking the toes, lifting the knees, pressing back into your downward facing dog. We're taking a few movements here in our organic, organic movements in our downward facing dog, maybe making some yeses and noes with your head. A little wag of your tail from side to side. And bending your right knee, let your left heel melt closer to the ground. And switch it out. And letting both heels melt down to the ground. Inhale, lift your heels up nice and high. Exhale, bring the knees all the way down to the mat. And keeping your toes tucked under, pressing your hips back onto your heel. Now rolling forward through cat to plank pose. On this first one, let's stay on our knees here. Deep breath in the, in the nose. Exhale, elbows, brush, ribs, slowly make your way all the way down to the mat. Now, untucking the toes, take your arms long beside you with your palms flat. Kiss your ankles together. And on the inhale, lift your chest up towards the ceiling. So just the chest lifts on this first one. Chin is slightly tucked. Palms are down on the ground, tops of the feet are down on the ground. And exhale all the way down. Inhaling, plank pose on the knees. Exhale, press back, chest pose. Inhale, sliding forward, cow pose. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees, press back into your downward facing dog. This time, inhaling, lifting your heels up nice and high. Exhale, let both heels fall over to the left. And then bend your knees out to the right and press your heart back towards your thumbs. Now we'll inhale, heels up through the center. 
and let both heels fall to the right now. Let your knees bend out to the left and press your heart back towards your thighs. And then inhaling heels center. Exhale, knees come all the way down to the mat. Keep the toes tucked under, press the hips back onto your heel. Inhaling, rolling forward through cat to plank pose. Now you have the option to keep your knees down on the mat, or maybe this time you lift your knees off of the mat. Exhale, elbows, brush, ribs come all the way down. And untucking the toes, arms long beside you, palms flat. Kiss the ankles together again if it's accessible to you. This time, inhale, lift your chest. And then lift the palms up off the ground. Again, chin is still slightly tucked. And exhale down. Inhaling, plank pose on the knees. Exhale, press back. Child pose. Inhale, slide forward, cow. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees, press back into your downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels up nice and high. Exhale, bend the knees, press your heart back towards your thighs. Inhaling, rolling forward through cat to plank pose. And exhale, elbows, brush ribs, come all the way down. Untucking the toes, just take your arms long beside you, kiss your ankles together, chin is slightly tucked. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your palms, and then option this time, maybe you lift your feet up off the ground here. And then release down. Inhaling, plank pose on the knees. Exhale, downward facing dog. Taking a nice deep breath in the nose. Open mouth side, let that breath go. Two more, deep breath in. Exhale, let that breath go. One more, deep breath in the nose. And exhale, let that breath go. Inhaling, heels high. Exhaling, knees bent. Walk, step, or silently hop to the top of your mat. Now inhale, lift halfway here. And your halfway can be hands on the thighs, hands on the shins, or maybe your hands are on the floor, depending on your flexibility. And exhale, fold and in. Inhale, start to roll your back up one vertebrae at a time. Head and neck come up last. Arms hang long beside you so you can take one shoulder roll here by pulling the shoulders up to your ears, onto your back, and then turning your palms to the front of the room and spreading your fingers out nice and wide. Inhale, circle sweep the arms. Exhale, baby back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, bend your knees to swan dive. Take it all the way down. Inhaling, lifting halfway. Exhale, folding. Step your left foot back to the back of the mat, low lunge. Now step your right foot back, downward facing dog. And inhale, rolling forward to plank pose. Exhaling, lowering all the way down. Untucking the toes, sliding the hands more towards your waist. Inhale, lift Cobra Pose, chin is slightly tucked, lift the chest. Exhale, down. Inhaling, Plank Pose. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. With a deep breath in the nose. And then exhale, let that breath go. Inhaling, heels high. Exhaling, knees bend. Walk, step, or silently hop to the top of your mat. Inhaling, lifting halfway, send the gaze forward. 
and exhale, fold and hang. Inhale, roll your back up one vertebrae at a time, head and neck come up last. Arms hang long beside you. Roll the shoulders up to your ears. Pull them together on your back. Turn the palms to the front of the room. Spread your fingers. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms. Exhale, baby, back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. Inhale, and straightening the arms. Exhale, bend the knees, swan dive, take it down. Inhale, and lifting halfway. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot back to the back of the mat. Step your left foot back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to plank pose. Exhale, low plank or all the way down to your belly. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra, your choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in the nose. Open mouth, ha, let that breath go. Another deep breath in. Open mouth, ha, let that breath go. One more deep breath in. Exhale, let that breath go. Inhaling heels high. Exhaling knees bent, walk step or silently hop to the top of your mat. Inhaling, lifting halfway, send the gaze forward. Exhale, fold and hang. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up. Circle the shoulders up to your ears. Onto your back, turn the palms to the front of the room, spread the fingers. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms. Exhale, baby back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, bend the knees, swan dive, take it down. Inhale, lifting halfway, send the gaze forward. Exhale, fold, long step or hop to plank pose. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, low plank or all the way down. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here, inhaling in the nose. Exhale, let that breath go. Two more, deep breath in. Exhale, let that breath go. One more, deep breath in the nose. And exhale, let that breath go. Inhaling, heel side. Exhaling, knees bend, walk, step, or silently hop to the top of your mat. And inhaling, lifting halfway, send the gaze forward. Exhale, fold and hang. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up, arms up. Taking your left hand around your right wrist, lift up through the right side of your body and lean over to the left. And then inhaling, center, let's switch it out. Take your right hand around your left wrist, lifting up and leaning over to your right. Inhaling, center, baby back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. Inhaling, straightening the arms. Exhale, bend the knees, swan dive, take it down. Inhaling, lifting halfway, send the gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Step your left foot back. Spiraling the back heel down at a 45 degree angle. Reach your arms forward. Inhale, take it all the way up. And baby back bend here, elbows at 90 degrees. And then inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, sweep your arms behind you, and as you're sweeping your arms back, straighten through your front leg. So we'll take two more this way. Bending into your front knee, sweeping the arms up. Baby back bend, elbows at 90. Inhaling, straightening your arms. 
Exhale, sweep behind you, straightening through the front leg. Last one here. Bending into your front knee, sweep it up, big inhale. Big exhale, baby back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. Inhale, straighten your arms. Exhale, hands come down and surround your right foot. Come to the ball of your back foot, stepping your right foot back, downward facing dog. Now, you're welcome to take this as a stopping point for you if you'd like, or as a little rest to stop. Or you're welcome to flow through your vinyasa flow. Inhale, rolling forward to plank. Exhale, low plank or all the way down. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhaling, downward facing dog. Wherever you're at, deep breath in the nose. And exhale, let that breath go. Inhaling, heels high. Exhaling, knees bent. Walk, step, or silently hop to the top of your mat. Inhaling, lifting halfway, send the gaze forward. Exhale, fold and in. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up, arms up. Exhale, right hand to your back, left hand over right elbow. Lift it up and lean it over. And inhaling, center lift, switch it out. Take your left hand to your back, your right hand over your left elbow. Lift up through the left side and lean over to the right. Inhale, center. Baby back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. Inhaling, straightening the arms. Exhale, bend the knees, swan dive, take it down. Inhaling, lifting halfway. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot back, spiraling that back heel down at a 45 degree angle. Reaching your arms forward, inhale, sweep it all the way up, and baby back bend. Inhale, straighten through your arms. Exhale, sweep back, and as you sweep your arms back, you straighten through your front leg. Two more times, bending deep into the front knee. Inhale, all the way up. Baby back bend, elbows at knee. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, sweep back, straighten through your front leg. Last one, bending into that front knee, sweep it all the way up. Baby back bend, elbows at knee. Inhale, straighten your arms. Exhale, hands come down and surround the left foot, come to the ball of your back foot. Step back for the dog. Again, you're welcome to stay here. Or flow through your vinyasa flow. Inhale, roll it forward. Exhale, low plank or all the way down. Inhaling, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in your nose. Exhale, side out. Inhaling, heels high. Exhaling, knees bend. Walk, step, or silently hop to the top of your mat. Inhale, lift it halfway. Heel toe your feet out, hip width distance. Exhale, fold. Grab that opposite elbows here and take a little sway from side to side. Inviting center, releasing the elbows. Inhaling, lifting halfway. Heel to your feet back together again. And exhale, fold and hang. Inhale, start to roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Head and neck come up last. Circle sweep the arms. Arms up towards the ceiling. And here I want you to lift your heels and balance on your toes for a moment here.
Then letting your heels melt down. Baby back bend, elbows at 90. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, swim dive, take it down. Now inhale, lifting halfway. Exhale, fold. Step your left foot back. Spiral that back heel down at a 45. Reaching your arms forward. Inhale, take it up. Take it back. Baby back bend. Then inhale, straighten your arms. Exhale, hands at heart center. Begin to straighten through your front leg. Lift your back heel so you can pivot into your warrior two legs. So again, hands are at heart center. I moved mine already, but bring it into this warrior two. Now, Jonathan spoke of a love explosion, so we're gonna take this as literal love explosion pose. So we're gonna take our hands as if we're moving from our heart out towards the, opening our heart and taking that love explosion out to, to our warrior two. From here, we're gonna take a big inhale, lift up, bringing your palms together above your head. Exhaling, hands at heart center. And taking this two more times, deep breath in. Exhale, take it from the heart and explode it out into the warrior two. Inhaling, lifting up here, palms come together. Exhaling, hands at heart center. One more explosion of love here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, take it out into the warrior two. Inhaling, lifting it up. Exhaling, hands at heart center. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Flip your front palm. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Lean back, reach back, go back. And exhale, side angle pose. Take your right form on your right thigh and your left arm coming all the way over the top of your head. Now inhale, reverse that warrior again, leaning back. And exhale, cartwheel the hands down to surround your right foot. Now we're gonna head back into a floating figure four. So you take your right ankle over the top of your left knee. You bend your left knee and press back into this wonderful floating, Figure four is what I call this here. And then inhale, pull your right knee to your nose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in the nose. And exhale, let that breath go. Inhale, rolling forward to plank pose. And exhale, lowering all the way to your belly. Now we'll do some belly down back work and we'll take our hands behind our back interlacing our fingers. Now some of us, the shoulders, that doesn't work for our shoulders. So the modification would be just to take the fingertips to the back of the head here and elbows out to the sides of the room. I'll show the modified version the whole time. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, let that breath go. Inhale, lift your chest and lift your legs here. Again, we're still breathing in that ujjayi breath. And whether your hands are behind your back or your elbows are out to the sides of the room, we're still breathing and our chin is still slightly tucked here. And then releasing down, take your right ear to the mat, gaze left. Bend your knees and windshield wiper from side to side. Now finding center, palms beside the ribcage, inhaling plank pose on your knees. Exhale. Press back to child's pose. And taking three deep breaths here, inhaling in the nose. Exhale, let that breath go. 
Two more. Deep breath in the nose. Exhale, let that breath go. And one more. Deep breath in the nose. And exhale, let that breath go. Inhaling, sliding forward, cow. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the knees. Downward facing dog. Inhaling, heels high. Exhaling, knees bent. Walk, step, or silently hop to the top of your mat. Inhaling, lifting halfway. Heel toe your feet out, hip width distance. Exhale, fold. Now keeping your feet hip with distance, inhale, start to roll your back up one vertebrae at a time. Circle, sweeping the arms and at the top here, lifting your heels and balancing on your toes for a moment. Letting the heels melt down, step together, baby back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. Inhaling, straightening your arms. Exhale, swan dive, take it all the way down. Inhaling, lifting halfway, send the gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot back to the back of your mat. Spiral that back heel down at a 45 degree angle. Reaching the arms forward, inhale, take it up, take it back, baby back bend. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, hands at heart center. On your next inhale, lift your back heel to pivot into warrior two legs. Now take that deep breath in and here's our explosion of love as if we're opening our Superman chest here to reveal our heart. Pressing out into the warrior two. Inhaling, lifting, straightening through that front leg. Palms come together above the head. Exhaling, hands at heart center. Taking a nice deep breath in here. Exhale, press it out to the warrior two. Inhaling, lifting up, palms come together. Exhaling, hands at heart center. Last one like this, deep breath in. Exhale, press it out to the warrior two. Inhale, straighten and bring the palms together. And exhaling, hands at heart center. Deep breath in the nose. Exhale, press it to the warrior two. Inhale, flip your front palm and reverse. Exhaling, side angle pose, left arm, left thigh, right arm coming all the way over the top of your head and reach. And inhaling, reversing the warrior lean back. Exhaling, cartwheeling the hands down to surround your left foot. Remember, this is that floating figure four. Slide the left ankle on top of the right knee and bending the right knee, pressing back into your floating figure four. And pulling your left knee towards your nose. Big exhale, sends it back. Downward facing dog. Inhaling, rolling forward to plank pose. And exhale, lowering all the way down to your belly. Now again, you can either have fingertips behind the head, or if you interlace your fingers here, take the opposite finger on top. So the opposite index finger on top, or fingertips behind the head. Kiss your ankles together. Deep breath in the nose. Exhale, let that breath go. Inhaling with the chest, the elbow tips, lift the legs here. Still breathing, chin is slightly tucked. And 
releasing left ear to the mat, gaze right, bend the knees, windshield wiper from side to side. Inviting center palms beside the ribcage, inhaling plank pose on your knees. Exhale, pressing back into the child pose with three breaths here, inhaling in the nose. Exhale, let that breath go. Two more, deep breath in the nose. Exhale, let that breath go. And one more, deep breath in the nose. And exhale, let that breath go. Inhale, sliding forward to your cow pose. And exhale, tucking the toes, lifting the knees, pressing back into your downward facing dog. Here, inhale, lift your right leg high to the sky. And this can also be done in a modified version on your left knee. So I'll show the modified version, lifting that right leg high. Exhale, pull the right knee into your nose. Now look forward and step that right foot up in between your hands. Spiraling your back heel down at a 45 degree angle. Reaching your arms forward, inhale, sweep it all the way up and back. Warrior one, baby back bend. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, hands at heart center. Taking a nice deep breath in. And exhale, letting that breath go. Inhale, lifting your back heel. Bending into that front knee, pressing out for your warrior two. Now, flipping your front palm, inhale, reverse the warrior, lean back. And exhale, side angle pose. Right forearm, right thigh, or right elbow on the inside of your right leg. Left arm coming all the way over the top of your head. Inhale, reverse the warrior, lean back. Straighten through your front leg this time. Reach the right arm and the right rib cage forward. Tick tuck your arms, triangle pose. And again, if you don't have any props here, you're welcome to take your right hand on your shin or your thigh or right hand, the back of the right hand on the inside of your right leg. You decide. Bending into that right knee, warrior two. Straighten through your right leg. Turn all 10 toes to the side of your mat. Taking your hands behind your back. Interlacing your fingers, rolling the shoulders down your back. Now, even though the fingers are interlaced here, you're welcome to keep a bend in your elbows. Take a nice deep breath in your nose. And exhale, fold forward. Now taking your hands to your hips and slowly down to the floor. Inhale, lift halfway. Turning your left toes two inches towards the back of your mat. Start to walk your hands over. Now bending your left knee, only going as low as your left heel can stay attached to the mat here. This is Skandasana. And then walking your hands all the way around your right foot, low lunge facing the front of your mat. Drop your back knee. Take your left hand off to the left hand side of your mat and inhale, lift your right arm up towards the sky. Again, this might be a stopping point for you. Or if you'd like to take it even further, reach back to the back of your mat. Bending your back leg and grabbing a hold of the pinky edge of your back foot. Now pulling the shoulder blades together and really opening your 
heart into that heart space here. Slowly releasing, place both hands on the inside of your right leg and very gently straighten through the right leg, bow to the inside. Bending into your right knee, tucking your back toes, lift your back knee. Step this left foot on the outside of your left pinky fingers. Now again, when we sit down into Malasana, if you have knee issues, maybe 90 degrees might be all you get right here. And that's okay, that's an okay Malasana. Or you can take it all the way down depending on your knees and depending on how you're feeling in your practice. Hands are at heart center, triceps are on the inside of your knees. Close your eyes for a moment and take three deep breaths here. Blinking your eyes back open, take your hands down in front of you, lift from your tail, and turn your toes in towards each other like duck feet as you fold over. And inhaling, lifting halfway, heel to your feet all the way back together again, and exhale, fold and hang. Inhale, start to roll yourself all the way up, arms up, baby back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. Inhaling, straightening the arms. Exhale, swan dive, take it down. Inhaling, lifting halfway. Exhale, fold, walk, step or hop to plank pose. Optional vinyasa, we'll all meet in our downward facing dog. Once you get to your dog, take a nice deep breath in your nose. Open your mouth, stick your tongue out, and roar like a lion. Now on the next inhale, lift your left leg up high towards the sky. And remember, this can always be done with your right knee down on the mat. Exhale, pull the left knee to your nose. Cat it up. Look forward, step that left foot up in between your hands. Now spiral that back heel down at a 45 degree angle. Reaching your arms forward, inhale, take it all the way up and back. Baby back bend, elbows at 90. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, hands at heart center. Start to straighten through your front leg, lift your back heel, and we'll complete the warrior two here, pressing your hands to the front and back of your mat. From here, flipping your front palm, inhale, reverse the warrior, lean back. Reach back, go back. Exhaling, side angle pose. Take your left form on your left thigh, your right arm coming all the way over the top of your head. Inhaling, reversing the warrior, leaning back. Straighten through your front leg. Start to reach your left arm and your left arm cage forward. Tick tock the arms. Triangle pose. Remembering if blocks are not handy to you, maybe you place one hand on your shin, maybe you place one hand on your thigh, just not on top of the knee joint, or take the back of your hand to the inside of that left leg. Now bending into the warrior two, Straighten through your front leg. Turn all 10 toes to the side of your mat. 
Take your hands behind you, this time interlacing with the opposite index finger on top. Roll the shoulders onto your back. Now, even though those shoulders are on your back, you've still got plenty of bend in your elbows here. We're being really nice to our joints. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale, bend in your knees and fold forward. Now taking your hands to our hips and slowly down to the mat. Inhaling, lifting halfway. Turn your right toes two inches towards the back of your mat and walking your hands over, bending in that right knee. Left toes towards the ceiling, Skandasana. And then walking your hands all the way around our left foot, low lunge. Drop your back knee. Take your right hand off the mat to the right. Inhale, lift your left arm. Exhale, reach that left arm to the back. And again, this could be a stopping point or possibly bending your back leg and grabbing a hold of the pinky edge of your back foot, kissing your shoulder blades together, leaning back into the pose. And slowly releasing both hands on the inside of your left leg, very gently straightening through the left leg and bow away. Bending into your left knee, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee, step your right foot on the outside of your right pinky finger, and Malasana, sitting low into the pose, just as low as you can keep those heels connected to the ground. Hands at heart center, coming back into your heart space, closing your eyes, taking three deep breaths here. Taking your hands down, lifting from your tail, turning your toes in towards each other, folding forward. Inhaling, lifting halfway, heel to your feet back together again, and exhale, fold and hang. Inhale, roll yourself all the way up, arms up. Baby back bend, elbows at 90 degrees. Inhale, straighten the arms. Exhale, swan dive, take it down. Inhaling, lifting halfway. Exhale, fold, walk, step, or hop to play pose. Again, optional vinyasa. We'll all meet in our downward facing dog. Taking a nice deep breath in here. And exhale, letting that breath go. Inhale, lifting your right leg. Exhale, pigeon pose, right ankle behind left wrist. Walk your hands back towards your hips. Taking a nice deep breath in here. And exhale, fold forward. Now, if this is not an option that you like, if you're having any sort of pain in this pigeon pose, you're always welcome to take the pose onto your back. It's the same thing. Right ankle crosses over left knee. You leave your right hand through the middle of your figure four and interlace on your thigh. So whether you're in supine pigeon or regular pigeon, you choose which pose is best for you.
you're in an upright pigeon, start to walk your hands back towards your hips, tucking your back toes and lifting up in a, in a three-legged dog. Take your right knee out to the right side of the room and circle around a few times. If you're in supine pigeon, release your hand grip. Take your right leg off of your left and place your right hand on your right knee. And again, circling that right knee around one leg and circling around the opposite leg. Now bringing your right foot down, inhale, lift your left leg for upright pigeon. Exhale, sweep that left ankle behind your right wrist, walking your hands back by your hips. Breath in. And exhale, folding forward. If you're in supine pigeon, simply take your left ankle over the top of your right knee. Weave your left hand through the middle of your figure four position, interlacing fingers behind your right thigh or below your right knee. And everybody take a deep breath in. And exhale, either fold forward or pull your right knee in towards your belly. For those of you that took the upright pigeon, you'll walk your hands back by your hips. You'll tuck your back toes and lift up to a three-legged dog with your left knee out to the left side of the room, circling around one way and then the opposite way. For those of you that are in supine pigeon, you release your hand grip, take your left leg off of your right, place your left hand on your left knee, and again, circling around one way. and circling around the opposite way. Now, if you're in downward facing dog, take an inhale and lift your heels and exhale, bend your knees, walk, step or hop to the top of your mat, sitting down on your bottom and laying back onto your Now with everybody in your feet flat on the floor, I want you to pull your heels in towards your bottom. We're headed towards our bridge pose. So I'll ask a few things of you. Heels are in towards the bottom. Make sure that you have a little bit of room in between your neck and the mat. Once our hips start lifting up towards the ceiling, Please do not look side to side because you might hurt your neck that way. So keep your head just at a neutral here while we're in our bridge pose. On your next inhale, lift your arms up towards the ceiling. And on your next exhale, pull your elbows right down beside your rib cage as if you have a couple of robot arms happening here. Now leave your robot arms there and inhale, start to lift your hips up, 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 up. Pause at the top. And then exhale, lower one vertebrae at a time. When your tail touches, then again, we'll head up. Inhale, lifting up, 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 up. And then exhale, roll it down one vertebrae at a time. This last one's a hold. Inhale, lift all the way up. Hold at the top. Pull one shoulder blade.
blade and the other shoulder blade underneath you. Now here's where we take a few options. If you want more of a yin pose, you simply place your palms right under, under your back with the, your fingers wrapping around the sides of your body here. You're welcome to stay this. This is the more restorative pose. Or if you want a more intense bridge, you'll simply straighten out your arms, interlacing your fingers underneath you. Now, if you're in the more intense version, if you can lift your thumbs up and poke at your bottom and notice if your glutes are taking over the pose here. And if that happens, can you release the glutes and really use your quads to get a little bit more height here. Try to let those glutes get off of the situation. You might have to keep reminding them with your thumbs. And wherever you're at, take a few ujjayi breaths. And unlacing your fingers or taking your hands out from underneath you. Rolling your back down one vertebrae at a time. Step your feet out, mats with distance, and simply windshield wiper from side to side. And finding center here, pull the knees in towards your belly, giving yourself one last big, uh, big squeeze here. Squeeze your eyes tight, toes tight, squeeze everything as tight as possible, breath in, and exhale, release into your Shavasana. Keep your legs playing out to the corners of your mat and your arms laying down beside you with your palms up towards the ceiling. Closing your eyes. And clearing your mind. Now, if you have the time, I highly suggest that you stay right where you're at and allow yourself to just float in your Shavasana for as long as you can. If you need to move on with your Friday night and then start to deepen your breath and wiggle your fingers and your toes. And then simply rolling over onto your right side, bending your knees and making a little pillow for your head with your arm. Deep breath in the nose. And exhale, let that breath go. Carefully press yourself up into a comfortable seated position. The top of your mat, hands come to heart center. I thank each and every one of you for spending time with me this evening. Thank you so much. I hope you all have a happy rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your weekend. Until we meet again, namaste.